Okay, so we are going to do the liquefaction test. And you can have the students play around with it. They could put a canister of Play-Doh on top. And you can ask them if the ground um, feels stable and firm at this point, and it does. You know, when the, the tray is still, it seems like really great land to build on. Um, the car seems fine on it. If you stick this in, it stands up straight up. It seems really supported. So saturated sandy soil seems like it would be great land to build on. But when the earth is shaking, what happens to the soil is called liquefaction. And liquefaction makes the sandy soil act like a liquid. And the best way for students to understand the process is to see it in action. So here's our sand, and we filled it almost to level with water. Um, we got all the air bubbles out. And watch the surface of the sand really closely as I simulate an earthquake. Okay, here we go. And again, watch the surface really closely and see what happens to um, and see what happens to this really stable soil. So one, two, three. Okay, so I stopped it right there, and clearly because of the shaking, uh, the the structures kind of came out of their foundations, which is fine. But if you just look around, I'm going to lift up the can. You'll kind of see um, soupy water right there. And if you look at the surface, the water that was mixed in with the sand and kind of underneath the surface of the soil has all seeped up and created this kind of unstable soil towards the top. Let's see if I can Okay, and the more shaking that happens, the more unstable it becomes. So you can imagine it if there were buildings built with on this kind of soil that didn't have the proper foundations or didn't have the proper reinforcements, there would be a problem. You can definitely see it here underneath the Play-Doh canister. You just kind of have a little lake right there of water that's seeped to the top. If you lift up the little car, yeah, you have water right there. There's lots of water floating around the edges. And um, again, that's liquefaction, and that's what causes a lot of problems during and damage during earthquakes. Um, if you imagine if there are pipes running through there, either of gas or of water, those would be broken. If there were retaining walls or foundations that were on the soil, not only would it sink in, but they also would probably fall over. Um, so something that structural engineers have to think about. You can't just analyze the materials that you're using. Um, you also have to analyze the environment that you're building on. So if this is an earthquake prone area and this is the kind of soil that they have, how are they going to make sure the buildings are going to stay sandy and safe for whoever's inside them?